So I haven't, uh, you know, text and back and forth conversation on Facebook with a old Marine Corps buddy of mine. And, uh, you know, it was regarding a freaking post about how the Marine Corps was leading in hazing. Well, I made a post and said, well, no shit. That's what we used to be. That's what we still are. I don't think the Marine Corps is still that, I'm afraid to say, to be quite honest with you. I went in from 2000 to 2007. When I went in, we were still with the old camouflage, we were still fucking spit shining our boots, we were still old school, everything was still old school. Then they changed over to that fucking digital shit. The digital shit and the fucking, those damn boots. I hate those motherfuckers. Damn fucking suede boots. Suede were fucking terrible. Anyway, that's another debate, or another fucking bitch issue. But you could see that there was so much discipline lost when they stopped using those tools. When they stopped you, because every one of those tools, all those fucking fuck fuck games and all that shit they put us through, every single bit of it had a purpose in creating us. And then they stopped doing it because people couldn't handle it. There was so much hazing. No, that, those were customs, traditions, rites of passage, those were situations used to get you ready for the battlefield, for combat. It was all, it was all part of it. That's why our training was so hard and so harsh, because it prepared us to be expendable. It prepared us to be ready to die. <laughs> I mean, if you really want to get down to it, that's what Marine Corps training really does for you. It prepares you for death. You are ready. <laughs> you are ready for death. And I, that's all I can say. And I don't think the Marine Corps is there anymore. You know, one of the things that I fucking... It, I was reminded of another story here. Um, as a sergeant over in Okinawa, my second tour over in Okinawa, as a sergeant, oh man, it was fucking great. I had all kinds of freedom. Had a car. Man, it was awesome. But I knew the Marine Corps was fucked. When I got in trouble for chewing a Lance Corporal's ass over the phone, because I made her cry. That's right, I made her cry. She went to the first sergeant and cried, actually cried. And I got called in to stand tall in front of him because I made her cry. That's what the Marine Corps had become. It was shortly after that well, I guess not too shortly, you know, uh, another year and a half, uh, I, where it was time for me to re-enlist. I already had a fucking issue that was keeping me fucking from re-enlisting. I was tired of fighting. Damn, fit rep date gap. That's a whole nother story. But anyway, that just, all the politics... And all of everything I could see of where the Marine Corps was going. I was like, you know what? If this is how it's going to be, then I guess I don't belong. So, God had different plans for me. So, I just, I don't, I don't know what the Marine Corps looks like. I don't know, I have... I got some buddies 
I don't know if they'll watch these videos, but I do have some buddies. I have some troops that went on to do great things. That made that made me feel good. It makes you feel good to know, you know, that your troops. You see the the guys that that you kind of help mold to see those troops go on to do great things to see them go on and be fucking drill instructors and fucking master sergeants and man it's like wow but uh, I'm sure they could probably fill me in on how things are nowadays because I fear the worst Semper Fi